welcome children to the video lectures of social science standard 9 this is the third video lecture of chapter number 17 the natural vegetation in the previous video lecture we studied about the types of natural vegetation that are different five types of natural vegetation available into india we also studied in detail about two types of vegetation that is tropical rainforest and tropical deciduous forest today we are going to study about the next vegetation regions so let us start tropical desert vegetation now from the name itself it suggests desert means those vegetation or those trees which will be found in desert area okay so where desert is available into india it is only available into india into a particular region that is rajasthan and some of the areas into gujarat and madhya pradesh so let us see generally such forests are found in region receiving less than 70 cm of rainfall so rainfall which is available is very less 70 cm now you can compare this with the rain forest rain forest had more than 200 cm here less than 70 cm so the rainfall is very less these are found in north western regions of gujarat rajasthan madhya pradesh uttar pradesh etc okay where they are found okay north west region let us see here <coughs> you can see okay they are mainly found here they are mainly found into this part that is rajasthan some part of gujarat and a little bit of madhya pradesh <coughs> so the desert vegetation okay will be found here okay remember that what are the trees found there dates date mean khajur jujube jujube you know what is jujube jujube is basically boar what you eat boar there was big round boar okay cassia cactus kijlo these are some kind of trees that are mainly found there are other trees also they are found but these are some of the main trees that are found into this particular region what are the characteristics then the roots of the trees and plants here are long deep and wide spread why now this is one of the reasons this can be asked as a give reason why the roots of the trees and plants in desert vegetation are deep and wide now why it is that that is due to the actually the climate and the soil now the climate here is dry so the rainfall available is very very less so the trees get very less amount of water for their survival and that's why they put their root as deep as it is possible into the soil to get more and more water out of the soil right so that's why the root of this trees are very very deep and widespread okay at the second time this is all the uh, the other characteristics leaves are shorter which result into slow u operation right the leaves are very small you might have seen okay like the banana leaves are very big huge but the the, the leaves you know, of cactus plant or those plants which are uh, near you like bower what we call bower with a thorny bushes right they are very very small why it is small so that less amount of evaporation can take place at the same time you might be seeing that there is a lot of thorns on it why thorns are there so that it is a protective strategy of the plants so that animals don't eat the plants right so that are the physical characteristics of the uh, the the trees which are found into desert vegetation right next is temperate forest and grassland that is himalayan vegetation so vegetation on himalaya now there is a difference there is a table given why table is given because himalaya region we already have studied into the previous chapters that himalaya region is divided into various parts okay as per the altitude so as you go higher the the trees which you will find will be different in comparison to the other altitudes so here in this particular table they have given as per the height of it okay when you go from 1000 to 2000 meters you will find 
trees like oak and chestnut okay and what kind of forest they are called they are called tropical forest see they are called tropical forest means still they are near the heat a line okay they are near the equator okay now which areas are included then high mountains of north east west bengal and mountainous areas of uttarakhand are included into it this is a shortest title you will go higher as per it say when you go from 1500 to 3000 slopes okay southern slopes of himalayas are included higher areas of south and northeast and they are known as coniferous forest okay coniferous forest now here tropical forest coniferous why coniferous it comes from the name con con means you might be remembering about this which tree or which what is the image that comes into your mind yes christmas tree so those kind of trees which are having a con shape right such kind of forest will be found what are the main trees found pine sal silver fir and spur these are some of the trees that are found here now do you know why this uh, trees are having such kind of shape because this is the height where there is snowfall and this snowfall when there will be snowfall on it okay such kind of shape will allow the snow will allow the snow to slide down okay and it will not have weight on the tree at the same time the leaves of this tree are having a pointed shape and they are very sticky why they are sticky or you can say very slippery because the it will not allow the snow to uh, settle on it okay and this is the main reason that they are known as coniferous forest okay next is 36 meters and more the higher altitudes in himalaya as you go to the north the greater himalayas right and near the snow line okay alpine and short grass or tundra vegetation say alpine vegetation and tundra vegetation they will be found silver fir and birch what are the trees that found silver fir and birch are the trees that are found here now let us see what are the characteristics of this particular trees a major characteristic of this or that is coniferous forest is that the trees have a conical shape as i already told you they are having a a conical shape okay their branches lean toward the surface okay their branches are towards surface means towards land why so that the snow would easily slide down so the snow already slides down and doesn't get a weight on the tree trees leaves are long see pointed and sticky okay already i told you why they are sticky so that it doesn't uh, get the snow remain on it which can conserve humidity for a longer time and it helps to create and store the humidity for a longer time the fifth type of forest that we are going to study is tidal forest okay now from the name itself it suggests that those areas which are near the ocean will be included into it tidal forests are located near delta region delta is the mouth the triangular area which is created due to bifurcation of two rivers right along the coast this forests are found along gujarat's coast and in marshy land along the bay of bengal so mainly they are found near the areas where there are oceans okay and the oceans at the same time where river mouths are there okay where rivers are meeting the ocean okay so they are mainly found in gujarat and into bay of bengal what kind of trees are found then sundri trees and chi tree are mainly found here so we understood about the five main types of natural vegetation now we'll be studying about the forest products and their utility okay forests are useful to mankind in many ways timber wood from teak and sal is useful for furniture we know that timber is used for making furniture okay boats are prepared from the wood of sundari tree in sundarban remember this okay boats are prepared from sundari trees into sundarban and from sundari trees only sundarban got it name 
स्पोर्ट्स गुड्स एंड पैकिंग बॉक्सेस आर प्रिपेयर्ड फ्रॉम द वुड ऑफ पाइन एंड चिट्री तो बैट्स एंड अदर थिंग्स आर प्रिपेयर फ्रॉम दिस पाइन एंड चिट्री वॉट इज द वुड दैट इज यूज फॉर मेकिंग योर बैट एनी वन नोज इट इज कश्मीरी फिलो ओके और इट इज समाइम्स ऑल्सो नो इंग्लिश विलो टर्पेंटाइन इज प्रिपेयर फ्रॉम लिक्विड फ्रॉम चीट्रीज टर्पेंटाइन विच इज यूज फॉर इन टू कलरिंग इज यू इज मेड आउट ऑफ द चीट्री ओके सैंडल वुड इज यूज टू प्रिपेयर फ्रॉम परफ्यूम ऑयल कॉस्मेटिक एक्सेट्रा सैंडल वुड वी नो ओके इन गुजराती वी कॉल इट चंदन ओके दैट इज यूज फॉर परफ्यूमिंग ऑयल एंड कॉस्मेटिक्स बास्केट toys goods for home decoration etc are made out of bamboo so bamboo is also very very important actually it is not a tree it is a grass right and it is used for making toys then decorative items even jhulas okay and other baskets and other things forest also provides us lark that is sealing wax resin gum rubber honey cane etc these are also given from the forest amla okay that you eat bahide hurde ashwagandha that are this all are the medicinal plants that are also available from the forest so forest gives us lot of things that are useful to us okay remember this particular point this is because this is a very important point for your uh, examination okay now let us see about uh, other medicinal utilities of the vegetation okay so sarpaganda it is the vegetation which is used for in high blood pressure okay it is one of the very very important ingredient for high blood pressure then limdo okay is used for bacterial resistance it is used for skin disease or any kind of it you put limdo that is grown not the put not the limdo or mitho limdo the what we call which we put into our uh, food but the limdo that is a uh, bitter okay or what we call in gujarati the kadwo limdo okay into your water boil it and if you bath with that water you will never get skin disease tulsi is used for cough cold and fever okay then arjun sadar that is a treatment for heart ailments see arjun sadar is for heart ailment billi is for gas and cough impurities billi okay galo is used for diabetes fever joint and other things hurde is a very very important disease for constipation and hair disease amla is used for curing gas acidity and digestive okay you might be hearing the uh, pachika amla pachika also then kalinch is used for skin and dental gum disease so there are these are some of them there are thousands which are having medicinal utilities and which we are using for our day to day use beside this beside this leaf plants are used for okay for making leaf plates of khakro okay kachu is used from kheer means kachu is katho then bd is you made from timur leaves bd you might see those old people smoking it forest provides livelihood and food to forest dwellers those people who are living in forest they get food and other things from forest itself this way forest contribute into social and economic development of mankind okay so these are the importance of forest so we'll keep till here into this particular video lecture